Hello guys, this is Pavel Oskorop, founder of Laravel Daily and Quick Admin Panel, and we're continuing to go through creating LMS system in Laravel. In previous lesson, in previous video, we've uh, generated our admin panel to create courses with Quick Admin Panel and downloaded it. Now let's go through the code and uh, add more functionality. So here you can see I have users table and I've added a few teachers and uh, what I want to do today is create a course or actually manage courses. So if I do that as administrator, which I'm logged in now, if I go to courses, uh, it's empty for now. Uh, I want to add new course and the first problem or task for us I see is I can uh, choose teachers. And the first problem that teachers are also with admin. So here we have to uh, check that the role is actually teacher. So what can we do here is when we create courses in our controller, what we can do here is add a new where clause. Since it belongs to many relationship, it's not where, it where has, where has role and anonymous function from what I remember something like two where row id is two no not that row id two right. and now let's see if our list contains only teachers Yes, we don't have admin here anymore, and let's do that the same, actually, let's copy that thing to edit function of the controller, and then we will have the same teacher list in both. Okay, so that's problem number one solved. Next problem I see is if I log in as teachers, I still see that field, so I shouldn't be able to uh, to basically to choose teachers because I'm creating my own course. So courses, add new, and I see the same field teacher. So we should be able to hide that field if I'm not an admin. For that, we probably should, that's in blade, create blade. Probably we will add something like if, if of user is admin and we don't have that function yet and I will build it now. So we have that if functionality and then we go into user model which looks like that for now. It's all by the way generated by quick admin panel and public function is admin and it should return true or false. So return this role where row id equals one and first. So it will return a row uh, like first or false. So let's go back to our browser and see we don't have that field anymore. But if we, for example, to prove that it's working, if I choose two, so teacher should see. Let's go back to one. Uh, right, so we don't see that field anymore, and let's do that the same for edit blade. Edit. By the way, I'm using the latest, just downloaded uh, yesterday, PHP Storm uh, 2017.2, which was released officially yesterday. For now, I didn't feel any difference, to be honest, because I, I'm not the first uh, like uh, pioneer to use all the functionality, but uh, it's the latest version. Okay. Uh, but now, if we don't see that field, so what teachers do I assign? That's controller function. So in controller store, uh, we have this. So it's syncing teachers by the array of, of teachers. So instead of that, we need to go teachers equals if uh, if role no, out of user is admin then this else array of of 
user ID. So basically teacher himself. Uh, and then we sync with teachers. I think it should work. Let's try it out. Um, I'm a teacher now. I don't fill that field. And let's fill everything that is required. I think the only title is the required field. And we'll hit save. Okay. Start it does not match format. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, I'll need to fix that. Save auth not found. Of course. Auth and auth. Yes, also the first one was saving but not not syncing teachers. Right, so we have the teacher. We have myself, John Teacher, saved perfectly because of this one. But what if I try to do that with admin? So admin, admin, password. And let's try to create a course and choose a couple of teachers. So I choose John and Sally and test two. And let's create a date and say, see, it's working. So I mean, if I'm an admin, I'm getting the array. Otherwise, I'm getting my own user. And that should be the same in update functionality, I think. Yep, this right here. And now we are good. The final thing I would like to change here is that if I'm a, if I'm a teacher, I shouldn't see uh, other teachers' courses, uh, and I shouldn't see the column teachers. So let's re-log in with teacher. And in courses, I see everyone's courses including no teachers that should be actually deleted, but I'll take care of that later. For now, that row is actually useful for us because uh, uh, first thing we need to filter the courses. Uh, so not here, but we should probably add scope, a thing called scope. Scopes are eloquence functions uh, to, uh, to not repeat clauses, let's say. So in this case, I need to add clause where teacher equals this, in fact, where has, but instead of that, I can use scope, which is a function I will write in the model, see in the Laravel documentation, and then I will reuse it everywhere I need. So I guess I will need uh, to have something by teacher, course by teacher in a lot of places, including this admin. So I've done that now already uh, behind the scenes. So here's a function of model course, uh, scope of teacher, and I modify query uh, with a relationship. So if I'm not an admin, then I return only the courses by my teacher, which is like user ID, uh, and uh, the relationship is belongs to many teachers with user class and course user. Uh, and I'm utilizing that in the, in the course controller. <clears throat> uh, here the structure is uh, generated by quick admin to show the deleted course so don't uh, pay too much attention to that so you can delete and undelete so in, in some cases we will show only trashed in fact I will show you so you can um, click trash here click delete then and then show only trashed uh, so in both cases, in trashed or not trashed, I use scope of teacher, uh, which represents scope of teacher, this part. Uh, and that's it. So basically, I don't need to write where has every time. That where has logic, now it's in scope. So for now, if I'm not, <coughs> if I'm not mistaken, I'm logged in as teacher. Uh, add new course. No, actually, it's in the courses list. So in courses list, I see only the courses which are assigned for myself. But if I'm logged in as admin, in 
then I see all the courses. So that scope doesn't affect me at all. Uh, and by the way, I will show you the deleted function. So you delete the course. It's not here in the list, but it is in trash list. And you can restore. Oh, cool. I need to fix something here. Uh, but yeah, I can restore and and uh, I'm here again, or I can permanently delete. So the final thing I want to add here is to remove the column teachers for teachers. Uh, if I'm logging again as teacher, and go to courses, I should not see that uh, column at all. So we go to index blade, <coughs> index blade. And we add if here. If excuse me, as admin, nothing like that. And same here in the field in the columns. So here and okay. And there's no column. So that's it for this lesson now. I guess <coughs> we can create courses both from teachers and from admin panel and uh, an admin user. And in the le next lesson we will try to create the course and create lessons and see what things we, sh we should change in the code to make it work.